their little magical moment. And obviously, mum and dad. Both, because we, we read in different ways. Men are different. We're different. So, it is story time. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Here we go. 26 ways to get you excited. <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's one of my favourites. I love it. And do you want to know why I love it? Because there's a little mouse in it. He's gorgeous. Hang on a minute. I want you to have a little peek. You're going to love him. Wait till you see. No. No. <laughs> do you know why I love him? Because he's got a hairy bottom. <laughs> Martin, come out and stroke his bottom. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his tail, it's enormous, isn't it? And I bet you don't know how many whiskers a mouse has got in real life. Seven each side. And I bet you don't know the world record of one mouse the babies that have in one year is Canadian. <laughs> it's in a Guinness Book of Records called Matilda and has 126 babies in a year. Oh, wow. Mice can get pregnant every three weeks. Oh, I know. <coughs> and also, that's his shy face. But when you see the page where he's going to be sick, it's brilliant. <laughs> now, as we're super readers, let's sit up straight and we'll read the title together. So straight back to everybody. <laughs> Martin's straight face, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> and with our lovely reading voices, we're going to read The Little Mouse, The Red Rush, Straw, and The Big Ugly Bear together. Are you ready? Go! The Little Mouse, oh, he's gorgeous. The Red Rush, Straw, and The Big Ugly Bear. How's it feel like strawberries? How's it feel like raspberries? How's it feel like strawberries more than raspberries? Raspberries more than strawberries? <laughs> Don't like strawberries or raspberries at all. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, Big Hungry Bear! Shh, don't say that bit because Big Hungry Bears and your love is in Canada, they can be vicious, can't they? They, they? they do! I was there in May and it was in the newspaper. This man went out to hang out washing on a line. When his wife went out, there were bears who came out of hibernation in May and they only found body bits. His arm was ripped off, his face was savage, he was dead as the doorknob. I don't do that with the children. <laughs> <laughs> So when we see a bear, I am stopping because I get too scared. So here we go. Are you ready? Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. You're going to pick that red white strawberry. But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry? <laughs> You should take your face. <laughs> 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 oh, I've got fairness, red, white, strawberries. Now, before I turn to the next page, can you all pretend to be electric toothbrushes? We're going to vibrate. <laughs> we'll start with a throb and then go full thrust. Right, just do it because it's my favourite page. You ready, everybody, to shake? Are you ready? So start slowly. Marty. Disguised. <laughs> <laughs> he will. So Marty, 
that is the mouse. Did you realise? I could see on your face you thought, who is it? I know it's the mouse. <laughs> and that's the strawberry mouse. That's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world that we're going to save that red ripe strawberry. What should we do? Yeah. yeah. No. Sure. He's cutting it in two. Why? Oh, not with the B-E-A-R, is it? Oh, no. Did you look? Because she never even looked properly. Oh, it's blood. Oh, no, she stabbed the mouse. Is the mouse dead? What's that blood on the knife, then? Oh, I thought that was blood. It looked like blood, didn't it? It's not a strawberry. Oh, and look, he's sharing ass with me, not the bear. Oh, look. Oh, and look. We are going to eat it all up. Yummy. <laughs> and that will be one red white strawberry that the big hungry bear will never get. Hang on a minute. What says the bear on the last page? That table there, third course. Can you just check? Is there anything on that last page? Oh. Nothing with claws or bit, nothing behind a, a rock. <laughs> nothing up a tree. <laughs> promise. Say promise. Did you look like you're fibbing? Oh, no. Shh. Oh. It's a little mouse. Look, look at his little tummy. He's had too much strawberry, hasn't he? He's got trapped wind. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Purple table, you told Pibs. There is something in the dark shadows. <gasps> what? <gasps> it could be a big hungry. I really did do 26 things. Watch, opening moments, the way you hold that book, remember? Ooh. I did a noise. Ooh. I tapped the book like this. This is worth waiting for. And then I warmed you up. I did not start the story straight away. I, I said, do you want a little peek? Then I talked about whiskers and babies. Then we read the title together, so we were all together and ready. And then, whoosh, off we went. And the minute I started reading, I did not read the story with like that. Right. But some people cover their faces. Neither did I read it upside down because you look mentally ill. And your eyes go all scary. And also you read in slow motion. Uh, 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 oh, I see. You can't read. Put the book here. Then you can cover your chart and look across and they can see. Also, I often use the book. When I do one of my stores called Sean the Shy Shark, I do this. When I do the hungry caterpillar, I wiggle with the book and become a chrysalis and a butterfly. I use that book and I shake it a shaky page. I also do a lot of peer and over, peer and beside peer. I use that to build suspense. And also, the way you turn the pages is vital. There's nothing worse than a rhythmic reader. I do rhythmic. Here we go. Sometimes you, it's a rhythmic story, so you need it. But when it's not, it's rhythmic at its worst. Hello, little mouse. How are you? Oh, I see. You don't have to pick that red, white, strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> and you know other children are bored because they start to look for flies. <laughs> <laughs> when it's an exciting page, it's yes! When it's a suspense, you peep over. When it's a final page, you always go with a flourish. And that will be one red, <laughs> white, strawberry. And really use the way you turn those pages. And of course you involve the children all the time, but you don't lose the flow of the story. I asked you a question, I got you to peek, we did a tromp, but I kept the flow going. And then your two biggest is your face and your voice. Now, now I assess them. You're going to get an assessment. Okay, relax everybody for a moment. Your <coughs>